Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, dear viewer. My name is Julian Cruiser here with NodesAren'tScary.com, and I want to tell you about something. There is a node setting inside of Nuke that is freaking up your edges, and it's off by default, and you need to turn it on in order to fix them. Let me show you what it is. Let's get straight to the point. We're here in Nuke. The setting is called Unpremalt Buy. Unpremalt Buy. It's in your grade node. It's inside of the color correct node. It's inside of the hue correct node. And it needs to be turned on because this will happen otherwise. What we have here is a green ball and a checkerboard. And um, let's bring our attention to the edge. If I crank up the gamma with this setting off, we get a nasty hard edge. If I turn the setting on, it's fixed. The video is over. You can click off now. I'm just kidding. There's actually a lot more to know about this. Um, if this is all you need to know, you can stop watching here. But if you're interested in knowing why this fixes this issue or why this was even an issue in the first place, and you'd like to know something about pre-multiplication and unpre-multiplication, and maybe find a couple other tips and tricks along the way, then you should stick around. So in order to find out why this does what it does and what problem it's solving, we need to take a look at what pre-multiplication is in the first place. Unpremalt, what does premalt mean? Premalt is premultiplication. And what that is, is multiplying your RGB data by the alpha channel. Here, our RGB data is a checkerboard. The alpha channel is a heart shape. When we multiply each of the RGB channels by that alpha channel, what we get is a heart shape cut out of the checkerboard. Cool. So what is the unpremultiplication? Well, that is simply the opposite. Instead of multiplying by the alpha channel, we divide by the alpha channel. And what that does is it sort of undoes a premultiplication. There we go. Now, you notice this doesn't actually take us all the way back to the original checkerboard, and that's because when we multiply by the alpha channel, out here the alpha channel is zero. And so when we multiply by zero, we just get zero. We can't divide a zero back into uh, normal, you know, the values that we had before. It isn't magic just math. So <clears throat> what is the point of these um, procedures? Why do we do these things? Well, it has to do with how images are layered on top of one another, the foundation of compositing right there. And you might be thinking, hey, well, I've used Photoshop before. I've used After Effects before. I've never had to think about pre-multiplication. And that's because Photoshop and After Effects pretty much handle these things for you. But here in Nuke, we have granularity. And that's a blessing and a curse because it means you have to understand these things. But it also allows you to have control over them. So let's find out what this is all about. Well, let me propose to you a scenario. I have a green ball. Once again, same green ball as before. And I want to put this on top of a checkerboard. This is what I want to do. I want the green ball on top of a checkerboard. Right now it's on a background. So I have to make, I have to isolate the green ball and I have to make a transparent image out of it. This is what you'd think of in Photoshop or After Effects. You have an image with transparency, right? Well, what even is transparency? It is a pre-multiplied image. And by pre-multiplied image, what I mean is we have RGB data that corresponds perfectly with the alpha channel like this. I have a roto node here making a little um, shape that corresponds with the ball. And then I do a premult. And what we have here is RGB data that perfectly matches with the alpha channel. Over here, it's not empty. It's full of zeros. But this just means, you know, it corresponds with the alpha channel. And this correspondence thing is very important. And I'm going to show you why. Now that we have a pre-multiplied image here, we have our checkerboard. We can use the merge node to put one on top of the other. There we go. It's done. But what is the merge node actually doing? Well, it's not a single operation. It's not like a minus or a plus or something like that. It's actually um, a couple different steps. And I'll show you what it does on the inside under the hood. Here's what we have. Um, we have our ball here in our background. And then what we do is we take the alpha channel from the ball, from the foreground, we invert it, and then we do a pre-multiplication with this alpha channel and the background. And so what we're left with there is a, an opposite hole cut out of the background. Now, why do we need this? Well, once you have these two pieces, the ball and the background with a hole cut out of it, these two fit together like a, you know, like a jigsaw puzzle. And what we have, when we just add them together, now we can just add them together and we get the ball on top of the background. And this is where we see why this correspondence is so important. Because 
let's take a close look at this edge again. What we have here is sort of fading out. We have the same color here just fading out into the background. And this, if you remember, if we look at our pre-multiplied image, it looks like the edge is getting darker, right? So what happened to that? Well, when we cut a hole in our background, the background gets brighter to match. So they sort of, it's sort of like a crossfade happening, yeah? And when we add them together, we get this mixing. And so there are issues that happen when the RGB data no longer perfectly corresponds with that alpha channel. Because, I'll give you an example here, this is exactly what happens when you bring in a grade node um, and you do not check unpremold by. What we get is our RGB data is no longer fading out perfectly with our alpha channel. And this is a problem because in order for our two pieces to fit together like a jigsaw puzzle, that is our foreground ball and our background with the hole cut out of it, they need to match up perfectly. And the hole that's cut in the background is based off of the alpha channel, based off of this inverted alpha channel from the ball. And so when your RGB data is all hard, all values up until the edge, they don't fit together anymore. And you get a hard edge. The unpremult by setting fixes this, but how does it fix it? Well, I will show you over here. This setting, unpremult by, all it's doing is it's taking your grade node, putting an unpremult node before it, and then it's putting a premult node right after it, like that. But it's all contained within the grade node. It's like a, you know, under the hood kind of thing. But this changes what the grade node sees. Let's, let's take a look into the mind of the grade node quick. Without this unpremult here, what the grade node is seeing is the original ball. And it does appear to get darker on the edge, but you know, we can mess with it. And that edge is changing all over the place. Um, but with the unpremalt before, what we're seeing, we get the original data values. We divide it back to the original data values. Now we can do our work with the grade node, and then we can re-premultiply so that once again, we get that perfectly matched RGB and alpha combination. So now we can use this in our, um, in our over operation, and you can see we still have the soft edge. So that's what that's all about. While we're at it here, I wanted to talk about a couple other things because I see this a lot. I see this a lot in, in compositions. I've seen this in my own scripts happening. Sometimes you do this. Sometimes you accidentally do this. Or, and you don't even realize it until you're like way past it, but there's a dark halo around, around your subject. And you're like, why is this happening? You have two premults somewhere. I guarantee this is the issue. You just have to go and look for it. That's all that tip was. Another tip is you use the premalt here. Sometimes you bring in stock footage into Nuke and it's like, why does it look like garbage? Why is there like confetti on the outer edges? And it's because it's an unpremultiplied image. You just need to hit the premalt. It fixes it. That's it. There are a lot of issues in Nuke that can be fixed with the right knowledge about pre-multiplication. And I hope in this little mini episode here, I was able to help you have some of that knowledge and hopefully help you solve some issues in the future. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment or a subscription or whatever you, whatever you please. I appreciate it all. And I appreciate you just being here and checking out this video. Thank you for watching very much. My name is Julian Cruiser here with nodesaren'tscary.com and I will see you the next one.